Have you ever wondered what it truly means to be disabled, and who decides what qualifies as a disability? A piece of legislation, known as the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act, passed in 2016, provides some answers to these questions. In India, the RPWD Act 2016 is a significant milestone in the journey towards equality and dignity for persons with disabilities. This act recognizes 21 types of disabilities, a considerable expansion from the previous seven recognized under the 1995 Act. Blindness is the first disability recognized by the Act. It refers to a condition where a person suffers from any of the following conditions, either total absence of sight or visual acuity, not exceeding 660 or 2200 in the better eye, even with correction lenses. Low vision is the next disability. This is a condition where a person has impairment of visual functioning even after treatment or standard refractive correction, but who uses or is potentially capable of using vision for the planning or execution of a task. Leprosy cured persons are also recognized. They are people who have been cured of leprosy but are still facing discrimination due to the stigma associated with the disease. Hearing impairment, both hard of hearing and deaf, are also recognized. Hard of hearing refers to a person having 60 decibels to 70 decibels loss in the better ear or total loss of hearing in one ear. Deaf, on the other hand, means persons having 70 decibels and above hearing loss in the better ear. Locomotor disability is another category. It involves disability of the bones, joints, or muscles, leading to substantial restriction of the movement of the limbs or any form of cerebral palsy. Dwarfism, a condition where the height of an adult is 4 feet 10 inches or less, is also recognized. Intellectual disability is a condition characterized by significant limitation, both in intellectual functioning and in adaptive behavior, which covers a range of everyday social and practical skills. Mental illness, a substantial disorder of thinking, mood, perception, orientation, or memory that grossly impairs judgment or behavior, is also recognized. Autism spectrum disorder is also acknowledged. It refers to neurodevelopmental conditions characterized by difficulties in social interaction and communication, and restricted and repetitive behavior. Cerebral palsy, a condition marked by impaired muscle coordination and other disabilities, typically caused by damage to the brain before or at birth, is recognized as well. Muscular dystrophy, a group of diseases that cause progressive weakness and loss of muscle mass is also recognized. Chronic neurological conditions, like multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease, are recognized. They refer to conditions that affect the nervous system for a long period. Specific learning disabilities, a heterogeneous group of conditions wherein there is a deficit in processing language, spoken or written, are recognized. Multiple disabilities, a combination of two or more disabilities, are also recognized. Speech and language disability, a permanent disability caused by conditions such as laryngectomy or aphasia affecting the capacity for speech and language, is recognized by the Act. Thalassemia, a blood disorder passed down through families in which the body makes an abnormal form or inadequate amount of hemoglobin, is recognized. Hemophilia, a medical condition in which the ability of the blood to clot is severely reduced, is acknowledged. Sickle cell disease, a severe hereditary form of anemia in which a mutated form of hemoglobin distorts the red blood cells into a crescent shape, is recognized. Multiple sclerosis, a condition in which the immune system mistakenly attacks the coverings of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, is recognized. Parkinson's disease, a progressive nervous system disorder that affects movement, is also recognized. Finally, acid attack victims, those who have borne the brunt of acid attacks, are also recognized as having a disability under the Act. The RPWD Act 2016 is a robust framework that seeks to empower persons with disabilities in India. It recognizes a wide spectrum of disabilities, understanding that disability is a complex phenomenon 
reflecting an interaction between features of a person's body and features of the society in which they live. This act's recognition of these 21 disabilities is a significant step towards inclusivity, acknowledging the unique challenges faced by each of these groups and ensuring their rights are protected.